Here with Top Men's Finisher Hogan Daughters. Hogan, uh, you got to race on this course last year, this year, uh, finished tops on the team. How'd it feel out there? Um, it's it's a lot harder than you think because you know we run at 6 a.m. and I probably wasn't as hydrated enough to run at 6 a.m. much less 5:45 when it's so much hotter and the sun's out there and um, it's just a completely different race, really. Um, but it was a good race. Um, I knew the course pretty well, so it wasn't it wasn't too difficult. So this is the week before the Heartland Conference Championships. Um, teams getting ready, obviously split this weekend. You have a team here. You have a team out in uh, Oregon. Um, but next week, they'll all come together for the for the championship. How are you feeling as a team? How are you feeling personally going into that race? Um, personally, I feel like I still have some work to do, but um, that's every day. Um, you can never be settled. You can never be satisfied with what you're doing today. You always got to look forward, and you always got to look to the future. Um, but I feel as a team, we're, we're poised, and I feel like the boys in Oregon will prove that. I feel like they'll go out and they'll... Uh, do a lot of good work and run really well and uh, show a lot of the teams in the conference that, you know, we're here and we're ready to run next week. Awesome. Well, thanks again, Hogan. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Here with the top finisher for the Hilltopper women, CeCe Hintz. CeCe, uh, you weren't leading the team the entire time, but a strong sprint to the finish. How did it feel out there? Um, the beginning was a little rough. Um, I started out in the back, but slowly I brought momentum up and ended up sprinting it in at the end. So this is the weekend right before the Heartland Conference Tournament. We've had the whole season. How are you feeling headed into next weekend? And how are you feeling about the team headed into next weekend? Um, I'm confident in our team's abilities. We've been training really hard all season. And next week should be interesting because I've never raced a 6K before. So I'm excited to see how it goes. So you mentioned that next week was a 6K. Today was a 5K. Um, how do you approach the race differently when it's a uh, thousand meters longer? So it's a slower progression to the build up to the finish, I think. Um, so I'll start slower on the first mile and then progressively build up to a faster finish just like today. Very cool. Well, thanks again. Congratulations. Thank on today. you. Here with Coach Shannon Madigan. Coach, uh, team went split squad this weekend, so you had the team in Georgetown. Both men and women competed. How'd you feel about the performances today? Um, I thought we had a solid team effort. It was definitely nice to see some of the different athletes step up and take leadership roles. Um, overall, I thought the meet went well, and hopefully the team in Portland does the same tomorrow. It's the weekend before conference, uh, splitting squads like this. How do you think that positions the team headed into next weekend? Um, this weekend's meet was a great tune-up for next weekend, and hopefully it's a good reminder of how to compete. Some of the athletes will be at this meet. This was the deciding factor on if they're going to run at conference next weekend, so it was good to see some solid competition amongst the athletes on the team.